safety issues. It had issues with investigations. And at the very first time when the when the judgment was when the contract was signed, it was signed with a company which concealed facts from National Accountability Bureau of Pakistan. That is uh, not my reading of the judgment. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody wants to address me to that, I was I sat in the hearings from day one, from January 16, 2016, right to the end, and I've been with this for the last 17 years. And the, the very first contract that was signed with Truvans. Uh, Truvon has nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm talking about yeah. broadsheet. If they're trying to spin this Truvon, that's their issue. Broadsheet, I only agreed to come in broadsheet and fund it, and I insisted that Truvons cannot do this. I don't know who Truvons is. Yeah. It's got to be broadsheet. It's got to be a clean company. It's got to be set up from the beginning. It's my custom and practice to set up new companies for new investigations. So as to keep accounts separate, so as to keep the liabilities separate, to keep the claims separate. True Ones has nothing to do with me. I didn't know, I had nothing to do with them. When I was approached by the government of Pakistan, I said, I don't know what you've done in the past. I'm not interested in what you've done in the past. If you want to deal with me, this is the way we do it. Before you came into it, Broadsheet LLC, they hired a company here called Matrix Research Limited in London, and they investigated uh, Mr. Sharif and eight family members. And then one of the uh, company's representative went to Pakistan and met NAB officials. What was found uh, uh, during that investigation? Well, you better ask the company. Uh, and it's no, not, it's not right. true. It's not true that they hired him before I came. The very first check that I wrote for uh, this investigation was one to Broadsheet and one to IAR. So it's not true. No, no. It is totally untrue that I, uh, Broadsheet had done things before my involvement. It's another spin that no, they're no. trying to put on it. Initially, I mean, it is, it is in Sir Anthony's judgment that the Magic Chamber investigated them. And then a representative went to Pakistan. Yes. That, that is part of the judgment. It's, That's right. There's no spin in it because it is written very categorical, categorical terms. My question is, did they find anything? Because when they met representatives of NAB, they were not very convinced with the kind of evidence that was taken from here. Um, uh, you better you better look at the judgment and you better ask those people. Um, I, w I didn't go to Pakistan. I wasn't at the uh, presentation. But clearly, Brochi's credentials and certainty that it would succeed were enough to say, you know what, we are prepared to put our money where our mouth is. Every other company that came in and said, we'll do the investigation, they wanted monthly invoices to be paid. They wanted Pakistan put up, to put up money. We said, no, we'll put up the money ourselves. We were so sure that the thievery and the theft from Pak the people of Pakistan was so massive that we'd be able to find some of it. That's why we risked our money. Malik, I don't know if his name was Malik. Regarding the general, I don't know if he's a general. It is my estimation, it is highly improbable that he was a member of the, the Pakistani military. They would have much more direct capability of reaching me with credentials. Yeah. His credentials or documents slipped to him clearly by somebody inside NAB. My accusation is to NAB. It's not at the military. Okay. It's not at ISI. It's not anybody. I know ISI were involved in producing the joint investigation team report, which was submitted above board, bona fide, legally, to the Supreme Court of Pakistan. And in no, your and meeting... You mentioned another uh, meeting, actually two meetings with Anjum Dar. When he met you for the first time, he offered you a bribe. Why did you meet him second time? And no, no, he didn't offer me a bribe first time. Right. He, first time he saw us, he was going to see if we could facilitate an arrangement. Right. And I said, a consent order through the court. That'll be fine. And then I was under the impression that was what he was trying to do. The second meeting, clearly, and I wish there was a witness. I have a witness. You are a very experienced person. Then how you assess that Mr. Dodd is related to Mr. Kandy? Have you 